everybody, welcome back to Taji's World of Books and welcome to another book series recommendation video. Hey you guys, so welcome back. So today I am going to be doing the dive bar novels. These are spin-off novels from the stage dive novels by Kylie Scott. So the dive bar, basically the guys from Stage Dive did their first gig and got their start at Dive Bar. And these are their high school sort of childhood friends that have sort of come together and started this bar. They've revitalized this old bar called Dive Bar and they've made it into like a hipster bar, basically. And so you see some characters and you see some overlap. So if you just can't get enough of the Stage Dive novels and you love the guys from the band and you wanna see more of what they're getting into, check out Dive Bar because you are gonna see them in these books as well. Okay, so the first book, let me say first of all, there's three books in the series. It's by Kylie Scott. It's a spinoff. They are like candy, chiclet. You're going to gobble them up. They're super easy to read. They're short. You can read probably two of these in a day if you want. Like take them on the beach, take them on vacation. They're just, like I said, they're just candy. So the first book is about, and it literally takes place in the timeline directly after lead the last book of the four books in Stage Dive and it's about Vaughn. So Vaughn's band has just broken up. They were on tour with Stage Dive. He is frustrated because he music is his life. It's his career. It's what he wants to do and because of unforeseen circumstances it's not it's not working out for him and the band is broken up and he literally is going home to lick his wounds. Simultaneously in page one, Lydia is getting married and as she is in the changing room getting, getting prepared to go for her nuptials, she gets this text and she hears this moaning and slapping and groaning and she's like, what the hell? And she reads, looks at this video that's been sent to her and lo and behold, it's her fiance who she's about to get married to getting it on last night with his best man. So she's like, what the hell? She's like, ah, mm -mm, nope, this is not happening. And so she basically, she's like, I'm not even going to give him time to explain. I'm out of here. Because she suspected that things were going on because her sex life was non-existent. Like there was a lot of clues that she should have known something was up and she just wrote it off. And so she literally is a runaway bride and she like dives over, they're getting at this house, they're gonna get married at this beautiful estate. She dives over the fence and when she dives over the fence, she sees this overgrown yard. She sees this bathroom window open. It's clearly an abandoned house. She dives and stuffs herself. This is it, she's a plus size girl, love it, she's curvy. She stuffs herself through the window and she basically is like, I don't know where I am and I'm in some random house and she literally sits in the bathtub and she starts sobbing and she breaks down. Make a long story short, she falls asleep and she wakes up to somebody coming into the bathroom turning on the water, taking a leak, and lo and behold, it's Vaughn. And Vaughn is like, what the hell are you doing in my bathtub? Like, what is going on? And so their story sort of ensues from there. And it's two people that are down on their luck, that are broken, that have never had good luck with relationships, that really come together. She gets sort of swallowed up. She's new in town. She's only been in town for four months and she gets swallowed up by Vaughn and his sister and all of their antics and their friends who are the Stage Dive guys because Mal, the drummer from Stage Dive, bought a cabin and lives in this town now. And so it's just a lot of antics. It is two broken heroes or characters trying to find happiness and peace in one another and trust again and also being pushed to follow your dreams and to have people stand up for you and love you and respect you and not think less of you for everything that you've gone through and the things that have happened to you in your life. So this is a solid four out of five. I was really happy with it. I really loved it. It was super fun. I loved the characters and like I said, Eric in this book is because there's Vaughn's sister and then there's Eric and Pat and Pat is this, is married to Vaughn's sister and Eric is also their best friend so there's some drama going on there so there's just it for days there is stuff going on at the dive bar so I absolutely love it so that's book one book two is twist I absolutely love it so this is about okay so let me tell you the drama this chick Alex 
is like she's she uh, Kylie writes all like curvy girls in this in these books which I absolutely love so this curvy girl she's like she's gonna get herself together and she's like I'm gonna go meet this dude that I have been interacting with online I'm super excited I'm gonna surprise him it's his birthday and he is gorgeous and I cannot wait to meet him and so she rolls up in this bar into the dive bar on his birthday everybody's in there and they're like oh sorry miss we're it's a closed party you know you can't come in and she's like no that's okay she's and she rolls over to him because she knows what he looks like because she's seen him they've been emailing on this on this dating app that they've met on for months and months and months and exchange personal details and all kinds of stuff right and so she rolls up in there and she's like Eric she's like hey Eric she's like oh my god I'm so happy to see you happy birthday I'm here to surprise you and Eric is like yeah he's like I'm all for it he's like who are you and she's like I'm Alex and he's like did I hook up with you at the party at the stage dive party and she's like hook no he's like you're that chick that I banged from behind right and she's like what like you're nothing like whom I've been talking to you online like what are you talking about so like make a long story short it is clear that Eric is not who Alex thought he was and Eric has no clue who Alex is and it is clear that a situation of catfishing has occurred and all hell is about to break loose and it does and this delivers in so many ways it is so funny and so cute and a lot of things go down in this book and there is a little bit of a love triangle and somebody coming in from the past and I'm not gonna say like what's going on but it is super cool and I absolutely love it and it's fun and it kind of reveals itself from the very beginning so right away you'll find out but I want you to be a little bit surprised if you do decide to read it this is a solid four out of five star it's a fun fun read and I think you'll really enjoy it now the last book in the series, um, I went ahead and read it, and it's on. They're all on audio book, so I read them all. But the actual book didn't come in, so I read it on Kindle, and it hasn't gotten here yet. And so, and eh, that's kind of a bummer. But I'll put it over here, and it's called Chaser. And let me tell you, I this is the best book in the series. I love it. It is a five out of five star. It made me cry. It made me tear up. It's so beautiful, and it's about. Eric, who we just talked about in the other book, who has an absolute bad boy reputation. He is, you know, he has a tough time scoring because girls don't take him seriously. All they want from him is a hookup. This new girl moves into town. Her name is Jean and he instantly is attracted to her. But I gotta say, there is some drama from his past and with Vaughn's sister and Vaughn's sister hates him because of some stuff that goes down in these books that you'll hear about. So she absolutely hates Eric and she's going to do everything that she can to dissuade anybody from doing anything with Eric. And the thing that I love about it is that it's not a, it's not a second chance romance, but it's a second chance for Eric in the sense that he gets the opportunity to do it right and it's a story of redemption and it's a story of forgiveness and it's the story of like seeing somebody for who they are versus who you think they are and Eric's arc is beautiful and phenomenal and wonderful and he I, I feel for him so much because he tries so so hard and he's trying to steer clear of all the distractions. He's trying to do the right thing. He's stumbling and fumbling through it and not getting it right. But he is there for Gene in spades. And you just are there with him. Your heart is bleeding because you see, you see his internal POV. You see what's going on with him. And you see how everybody else views him. And you're like, you so have it wrong. This is not who Eric is. And you think you know, but you don't know who Eric is. And he is gonna steal a piece of your heart and run away with it. And you're gonna be like, Eric, come bring it back. Now, was he like that from the jump? From in these books? Absolutely not. Like he earned every ounce of the reputation of who he was. But in Chaser, he becomes everything and then some. And so it is a five out of five star for sure. It's absolutely worth it. So overall, I'm gonna say that the Dive Bar novels are super fun. There is there another book? No, the series is done. It's absolutely done right now. So that's, you know unfortunate I was just checking yeah it's absolutely done so there's only three books in the series they're super fun I wanted to give you something quick and easy and fun like a fun beach read that you're really going to enjoy 
and if you like I said if you like chiclet if you like kind of like gritty a little bit gritty like rock starry guys they're all like long hair tatted guys that are a little bit grungy a little bit gritty a little bit gruff but at the same time teddy bears and you just want to eat them up this is all for you and I think that you'll totally enjoy it so pick them up take them to the beach take them to the pool take them to the barbecue and just gobble them up like I did Anyway, so that is all that I have for you today. You guys know that I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'm going to be warning you guys that I'm going to upload on Friday. And then that is going to be, I'll try to get something up. No, nope, I won't. Mm -mm. I'm going to upload on Friday and then I'm going to be on vacation. So I will see you guys on Friday. Please click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in my next video.